It's like someone lost a bet. Um, no, no, I, a couple of the guys just had a wager about who'd get chosen for the birth list. It's a pretty steep challenge. Trying to keep people from procreating kind of goes against human nature. How do they keep them from getting knocked up? I mean, fooling around seems to be their number one pastime. So, <clears throat> subcutaneous birth control implants at puberty. And everyone just always follows the rules? Uh, no. No, uh, uh, some people rebel. They try to circumvent the system, rip out their implants. Their kids are called unclaimed. <laughs> Families are pretty much at the bottom of the food chain, total pariahs. And they knowingly put themselves in that position. Well, some people are just hardwired to want to have families, regardless of whether or not they should. Should? Yeah, genetically speaking, of course. Of course. And what does Ensman look for, genetically speaking, when determining who makes the birth list? Oh, no, no, no. Harris has nothing to do with it. It's purely a mathematic equation also known as old school eugenics. Whoa, that's kind of a strong word. You're just Get in, we don't have a lot of time. Mr. Carrillo. So he wants to tap into the ship's nuclear reactor. It seems questionable. It's already feeding the starfield. We're just skimming enough juice to run the monitors. Too much, and the stars are dim. He knows I sold them out. Don't worry about ends. The terms we discussed are still in effect. But you told him he'd be running the project again. And he believed me, so you stay close to him. You make him think you're on his side. We need him until this place is up and running. Why? The girl. If she's what Ensman claims she is, the TC group will be very happy. We have a new problem. What now? When Ascension was built, there were no mobile phones or satellite TVs. The RF jammers weren't added till a decade later. They weren't hardwired to the ship. They could be picking up any transmission in the spectrum. Radio, digital, microwave. 